Well, hello, welcome to I Love Gay Today. And we are back in Palm Springs and we are at this iconic place here that uh, I think everyone has heard of, the Purple Room there in Palm Springs, California. And we're with Michael Holmes, how are you? I'm great, so glad to be here today. I'm uh, how are you? You're in uh, <laughs> Allentown, is that right? Or I am, I'm, I'm, I'm from LA, I used to go to Palm Springs all the time and then I, uh, then I escaped and went to New York for a few years. And, I'm just uh, now I bought a house and I'm kind of a East Coast resident now. I love it. Well, today is pretty cool for Palm Springs in August. It's only going to be a high of 105. So. Is that all? Oh, yeah, nothing. that's that it is actually is nothing <laughs> no, compared to what it can do. Yeah. Yeah. But even though it's been a crazy year, I know that you guys have had, uh, especially through your YouTube channel, I've seen you've done a variety of different fundraising and different things to try to keep the Supper Club alive and going because um, you've been closed for like 17 months now. It'll be 17 that you taught me the math on. Yeah. And <laughs> but, I appreciate that. But August 31st is the grand reopening. It is. It is. Um, uh, it's going to be an interesting time. You know, this changes every day. And now to be a downer, but the Delta variant and all that. So we're requiring proof of vaccination to get in. Masks will be worn, you know, yeah, yeah. but uh, the show goes on. All the staff and entertainers are vaccinated and that's yeah. the, all we can do and try and keep it alive. Well, you've got like a whole lineup ready to go. The, uh, I, I took note of Liberace and Miss Peggy Lee. What did you call it? Lee oh, Squared? Lee Squared. I have to tell you, this is one of the most fun shows. They play in Provincetown. They play all over. Okay. And uh, it, the talent is over the top and it's hysterically funny. And the show is called Coming Out of COVID. Okay. Yeah. Well, but you have, you have that and you have, you have more. I saw you have like a whole, uh, whole set of things. Yeah, our opening weekend is Sam Harris, um, which is sold out. And uh, then we have Jane Monheit coming. Jane Monheit, are you, I don't know if you're familiar, they call her the Ella Fitzgerald of our generation. Okay. She's an amazing jazz singer. Yeah, yeah. I'm thrilled. And all of these people have been so supportive. You know, half the clubs in the country about have closed now. Yeah, yeah. And this is where these people love to play. So we have Marilyn May coming, Amanda McBroom. I don't know if you know her, she wrote The Rose okay. and a lot of very famous songs. Um, and, and she toured in theater. She's great. Sharon McKnight is a big gay icon uh, coming up. Have you heard of Sharon? Absolutely. And she's done so much for the HIV AIDS community and fundraising and awareness. Yeah. Billy Stritch is coming to do his solo show. Now he's, I dub him the king of cabaret Okay. in New York. Yeah. But he's played with every, you know, uh, He's a singer, but an amazing pianist. So he's doing his own show, doing both. So Tony Bennett, Marilyn May, all, all the biggest stars. Liza Minnelli, he, he's our musical director. Wow. But so, your, yeah. place, your place there has such a history. I know you're in the Club Trinidad Hotel, but I mean, yeah. they, I was even, even from your Facebook page, your website, I learned, you know, Frank, Sammy, Dean, the, the old original game from the 60s kind of uh, got their start there, yes? Well, they didn't get their start here per se but okay. they got their start as a group here okay. wow. they were all they were each individual stars so yeah. i can tell you the whole story uh, this beautiful lady named roberta king who's still alive here in the desert yeah. was working here in the 60s early 60s she got hired to play the piano and you can see the stage behind me yeah. um it was, it was piano and sing and just a little spotlight on her and one night Frank came in, uh, Sinatra, yeah. and uh, he said, Roberta, I just love the way you play. I know you're gonna go on break, but when you come back, uh, I would like you to play for me and I'm gonna sing. Yeah. So, you know, Roberta goes on break and then they can't find her, she disappeared. And uh, finally they found her in the ladies room crying. They pulled her out. And the uh, bartender meets her at the corner. You can't see it, but right over here, it's the same floor plan. And uh, he shoves a double scotch in her hand and he, she says, well, I don't drink. He says, yeah, well, you do tonight. <laughs> so they get her up on stage and Frank had been throwing hundred dollar bills in her tip jar. Yeah. And he's in this little spotlight in the dark and he had recently broken up with somebody yeah. again. And so he was seeing unrequited love songs. 
like dirge after dirge after dirge. And it really brought a, the whole room down. So um, suddenly out of the darkness, you heard, hey, you got to sing like a real Paisan. Shove Frank out of the way, grab the mic, and it was Dean Martin. Yeah. So when the moon hits you, you know, he's going on. And then, uh, hey, you got to put a little soul in that. Shoved him out of the way, grabbed the mic, and it was Sammy Davis. Well, the crowd went nuts. Yeah. So they plugged in two more mics and opened the lights, and the three bantered and played and had a great time. Wow. The head of RCA Records was in the audience, and at the end of the night, he said, this is one of the best shows I've ever seen. You needed to put this together and take it to Vegas. So wow. that's what they did here at the Purple Room. They put their Rat Pack act together and worked on it here because they were all neighbors here and, and good friends. So it's like a, that's a, in the music world, that's a perfect storm. It was, <laughs> uh, you know, I wish I was here. And yeah. Roberta King uh, uh, still drinks scotch now because of that. <laughs> oh, if that had happened in today's world, there would be so many TikTok and Instagram videos from that. But um, alas, right. it'll just be in our memories. Yeah. So we focus on the, um, you know, I'm a, I was born in the 60s and uh, that era, the supper clubs, you know, the country club supper clubs that we used, you know, when you're a kid and that whole era, live music, everything, I just always loved it. And so I had the opportunity, I was performing here, had the opportunity to buy the club and brought it back to the style uh, of its origin. I love that. Well, you said you uh, performing there. You also, uh, you do a show, the Judy show. Yes. I do do the Judy show. Hey, I'm not sure where I'm supposed, am I supposed to look at the dot or at you? Uh, the dot. So this is the dot. I yeah. know I hate it. Cause I want to look at you. Yeah. Can you What's move you your head up? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <clears throat> so yeah, I do this, uh, wacky fun show it's called the judy show it's a parody of the 1963-64 judy garland show oh wow yeah so i played judy and all of her guests um betty davis carol channing pearl bailey may west tulula bankhead katherine hepburn sometimes peggy lee yeah. billy holiday it we just have a riot with it wow well, yeah I I love all this. I'm so excited. You're opening at the perfect time. Uh, the, the, the Cinema Diverse Film Festival is going on next month. Right. I'm planning to come out to, uh, hopefully for that as well at the, end of, at the end of September. So I can't wait to be able to come down there and finally uh, check out your place and hang out with you. I can't wait to have you here. And uh, <laughs> maybe you can sit in on stage for a little bit. <laughs> That's going to push my boundaries, but if I bring this shirt, maybe it'll we'll make it work. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over your blouse. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You've been amazing, and like I said, I really look forward to being able to connect in the real world here. Well, thank you so much. I can't wait until you're here. Give you a big squeeze. You got and it. And the scotch. All right. <laughs> <laughs> until then, have a wonderful time. Bye, Annie. Thank you. So good.